Hey everyone, so today I want to walk you through the application of an alphabet workout. Now an alphabet workout, as you can see in the description, is going to incorporate naming different exercises from A to Z and also repetitions that are going to be assigned for each exercise. Now typically in an alphabet workout, you're going to spell out your own name. You can do your full name first and last, include your middle name if you'd like. And those movements and the assigned repetitions for each movement are going to be what you do in the correct sequence and order for that workout. Now, if you have a shorter name or if you're looking to make your workout lengthier or more intense and difficult, you can choose to do a several different rounds of your name spelled out for the workout, or you can spell out additional names like the name of your spouse, your pet, your favorite celebrity figure, or a friend or coworker. So as you can see in the description, I put together a full alphabet workout as an example for you guys. Now, the great thing about the alphabet workout is there's no limit to the different exercises or combinations of movements, as well as the repetitions that you assign for each letter to the workout that you can do. So this isn't the only way to pursue an alphabet workout. It's just an example that I created for you guys, but it does incorporate a lot of good variety of different movements, both in terms of cardio and strength movements, as well as different repetitions and volumes of each movement that you'll do. So for this alphabet workout that I created for you guys, I selected all the movements from the exercise library that I created for you on YouTube. So if you need a point of reference for any of the movements that may appear in your name spelled out, you could go ahead and use that as a way to access form tips as well as modifications if applicable. So as you can see in the description, I included my name spelled out first and last just to give you an example of what an alphabet workout would look like when you put it into application with your own name. So real quickly, I'm just going to demo through a round of this workout with my name spelled out and all the different movements that are going to appear for me. And that way you kind of get an idea of how the workout will flow. So starting with the letter L, I'm going to do 10 hand release push-ups. Moving on to A, I have 50 high knees. Next is U, and I have a 30 second side plank to do on each side. Next is R, so I've got 10 butterfly sit ups. Now for the letter E, I've got 15 regular push-ups to do. Next I have a letter N, which is going to be 15 jump squats. Moving right into my last name now, I have another L, so I have 10 more hand release push-ups. For the letter I, I have a minute forearm plank. For S, I'm going to do 10 bodyweight windmills to each side. Next is K, so I have a 30 second reverse plank. And finally for O, I have 20 burpees. Now again, you can use the alphabet workout and application a multitude of ways. 
You can make a nice short intense workout, just cycle through your first and last name one time, or you can make a longer workout out of it by doing multiple rounds of your name or by adding other names or words spelled out. There's also different ways you can approach the pace of the alphabet workout. You could do each exercise in the sequence and take a 10 to 20 second break in between movements to make it more of a recovery pace workout where you're not really pushing the intensity as much, but just trying to get through a good variety of movements and work out for a good period of time. The other option is to make the workout much more quick and intense by going movement after movement through your name in rapid succession while taking as little rest as possible. You could even increase the intensity further by doing three, four, or maybe five rounds through your entire name while taking as little rest or break as possible. The best part about the alphabet workout is that all the thinking's done for you. You don't have to map out or plan out your entire workout from beginning to end. Everything's presented to you already, and you can simply change the order or the sequence or the intensity at which you do the exercises based on the number of rounds you choose to do or the names and words you choose to spell. So give it a try and see how the spelling of your name will determine the fate of your workout today.